And oh, you don't, you, it says if they say yuck, they go in the racism database, police are called. Yuck is racism. Just like they arrested Robin Page, BBC reporter, for saying rural communities deserve the same rights as Muslims and homosexuals. The word homosexual is scientific, but it is considered by some to be hurtful. He was arrested. Toddlers who turn their noses up at spicy food from overseas could be branded racist by a government-sponsored agency. See, now, now, now Steve Watson was detained for putting his hand in his pocket with his date getting on a bus. This just happened. I have been detained for videotaping in London. Everyone, they, 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 they're, it's just like worse than East Germany at its height. There's just secret police everywhere running up to you. It's all over. This is the new system. This is the new system. If you question the government, your house gets robbed the day after by the police. I mean, this is the this is it. We're going into it. You understand? Another untold story. Here it comes. Another untold story. Here it comes. Another untold story that you have not been told from another untold story dot com. Napoleon was a great and wise general in his own right, though he is known to have met his Waterloo when he squared off with the English general, the Duke of Wellington, in 1815. But before that, he was known as a military genius with many a battlefield victory. But few know of one of his battle secrets. Few know of one of his secrets that's called a trade secret. And since his trade was war, you might call it his war trade secret. The story goes that it had to do with what they called the idiot, who was, according to story, stationed right outside his battlefield command tent. So called because the man was mentally slower than most men. You might say he was mentally impaired. This man in Napoleon's employ, called the idiot, was responsible in part, in great part, for many of Napoleon's great victories. It's quite a story, how he used the idiot in his battlefield tactics and command. And we tell that story at anotheruntoldstory.com. Go there and hear the story and learn how that story applies to you and the commander-in-chief over you. Go to anotheruntoldstory.com. For another untold story, go to anotheruntoldstory.com. 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 On September 11th, 2001, along with hundreds of my fellow troops, I went to Ground Zero, and we knew what to do, or at least we thought we did. Truth Rising is a breakthrough 9-11 film that finally gives first responders a platform to tell their story. Whitman, EPA director, on the 18th made a statement that the air was safe to breathe. This film follows the growing momentum of 9-11 truth as brave souls throughout the world take action against their global masters. He had his hand over the radio while he was getting a countdown. He takes his hand off and you hear three, two, one, and it was boom, 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 boom. This is an emergency transmission worldwide. Download Truth Rising at PrisonPlanet.tv and aggressively spread it worldwide. Or order the DVD at Infowars.com. If we don't expose the government-sponsored terror, they're going to commit more acts and bring in martial law. I saw a report yesterday by the American Medical Association. They said that children as uh, young as three need to be put on anti- Cholesterol statins. Now, the studies are just now coming out that statins really don't help you. They actually hurt you. Uh, that what's making people die is trans fats, which just turn into, like, basically plastic inside your arteries. It, it builds up. It's not natural. But that won't matter. They won't tell you not to eat those. They'll just say, reduce your cholesterol. That, by the way, your connective tissue is made out of, your collagen, 
your your heart valves, your brain. You actually need the, quote, good and bad cholesterol. Um, we've got all the studies on that. People uh, who don't even have seizures, if they don't get enough fat, will have seizures. In fact, seizures are way up with these people that have the uh, non-fat uh, diets and don't get the type of fats they need, especially in some of these uh, hardcore vegetarians that don't eat anything that's got any real fat in it. I'm not knocking vegetarians. The point is, you're going to have, you're going to get sick. Uh, now, they don't care. It, of course, is Merck. The same folks that brought you Viox made all the people have the heart attacks. Same people that brought you Gardasil. This is how they're targeting the children. This is even ABC News admitting Gardasil under fire for health issues. Now, this is a whitewash. Uh, the drug was really approved uh, about 16 months ago or in early 2007, but they said it was approved two years ago, and then they give the numbers, which are the numbers we got a year ago when they first got some preliminaries. There have been 7,802 adverse event reports, but remember, about 1 in 10 where the new drug gets reported, so you can say it's 10 times that. Reports from, uh, so that's close to, what is that, 70,000 something. FDA approved its use two years ago, according to the CDC. Uh, girls and women have blamed the vaccine for causing ailments from nausea to paralysis, even death. Well, I mean, I know women here in Austin that have taken it and almost died and had to have you know, parts of their bodies amputated. The CDC says none of the, contend, uh, none of the 10 confirmed deaths were linked to the vaccine. That's not true. Uh, they admitted in the trials there were deaths. So, you, you know, you'd read, you'd read ABC News here and they go, oh, boy, it's admitting, you know, 7,000 plus have gotten really sick and all this, but... It's saying there's been 10 deaths, but but uh, they're saying that part's not linked. Then you go to Gardasil, Merck's own website, and it says it doesn't protect you from that particular virus. It says we think it might, but if you already are infected with the virus, as about half the women in America are, who are over the age of 20, if you've had more than three sexual partners, you probably got it. Very common. In fact, uh, you can get it, you know, at playgrounds. You can get it at the gym. It's it's all over, folks. You ever had a wart on you? Well, most of those are this virus. You ever, you ever had a wart, folks? You ever had one between your fingers? Ever had one? I, I mean, I've not had a lot of warts, but I stepped on a nail when I was a kid and got one. I've got it. And now I've got a little bitty one under my arm. i got to go cut off or something. Oh, it's, I need Gardasil. It's all over for me. Oh, and now they're saying boys need it. Boys need to have it because it's associated with cancer. And that's right. A woman gets in her cervix and lets hundreds of warts grow over years. It irritates the skin, just like cigarette smoke irritates the lung tissue. It breaks down the cell walls, and then you get cancer. But that's what happens. Body parts that get extra wear and tear, they only have, cells only have so many divisions, and then they wear out and malfunction. So the warts make you have too many uh, cell divisions, and then you get cancer. But if you go get them scraped off and get your gynecological exam and get cleaned up, you're not going to get it. But this shot gives you a 45% increase in getting a cancer. They say, we don't know if it prevents the cervical cancer, but we know it gives you the cancer if you already have the virus. Merck is telling you your death sentence. But see, that's the weird contract law. They, they, as long as you know what you're signing on to, they, they can kill you. Yard is still under fire for health issues. Well, see, it's the same company saying we want to put kids on heart medication which fries your liver and everything else. Yeah, let's put the three-year-olds on statin drugs, which admittedly are killing people wholesale. But if people are going to do it, folks. They do whatever the scumbag eugenicists tell them. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. It is a big idea. A new world order in the near future. Earth is dominated by a powerful world government. It's known as the Bilderberg. Could their objective be world domination? For thousands of years, their dark order grew. Now, as they hail the birth of the New World Order, their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. For the first time in history, the elite's plan for world government is blown wide open. You will learn the secret that drives the entire New World Order agenda. 
Bill Bear is making great progress for the world government. Most people have no idea. They're not after money. They have all the money they need. They're after power. That's their affirmation. Order in game on DVD at prisonplanet.com or infowars.com or watch it online right now at prisonplanet.tv. In game. Full prep for global and